box, Gordon. Hey, we got the brand new Dell Inspiron 14 7000 2 in 1. They make an Intel, they make an AMD. The box tells you it's AMD. We're going to crack it open, we're going to take a look. This came directly from Dell, Dell Labs. So it may boot directly into the operating system in a manner different than what you're used to. But what we're interested in is this AMD based laptop. What I, one trend I have noticed lately in a lot of laptops from big OEMs like Dell is you get the same laptop body with the choice of AMD or Intel, either 11th gen uh, Tiger Lake or in this case, Ryzen 5000. First, oh look, nice. You get a USB-C connector. Uh, bricks, not too bad, fairly light, 65 watts. Power cord for it, Mickey Mouse connector. All cardboard packaging, which is very nice. It is in mist blue, that's the color here. I believe it weighs about 3.1, 3.2 pounds. It is a two-in-one, as we said, so it is convertible. Metal body, probably aluminum, but let's let's make sure it's a two-in-one. Yep. Try to do this on your MacBook. You can't. M1 or not. Actually, go ahead and try, but you can't. This, of course, two-in-one. It's got this pretty clever hinge. Now, you don't generally see this in two-in-ones. This hinge helps lift the laptop up off the surface. That way, you're not blocking the vents. If you block these vents, how's that CPU going to cool itself? So this hinge is kind of nice because you lift it up. When you're using it in laptop mode, it's going to give you a little bit of uh, space. Backlit keyboard, power button with built-in fingerprint reader. And inside of this one is a Ryzen 7 uh, 5700U. That's an 8-core Ryzen uh, part, 5000 Zen 3. Uh, of course, Radeon graphics integrated. It is a 14-inch panel, 16 by 9. 1920 by 1080 resolution, WVA. Got pretty decent. WVA has really come along. Pretty good, decent off access. Doesn't get super bright, but that's fine. Uh, inside this particular model, Ryzen 7, 8 core, as I said, uh, 16 gigs of LPDDR4, I believe. A 512 gig SSD. Let's go over the ports, and of course, you got your Radeon and Ryzen stickers, very nice. USB Type A, uh, is it high speed? Yes, it is. So this is a USB Gen 3.2, 5 gig probably. You have an SD card reader. You have an analog audio jack, other side. HDMI 1.4, I believe. Another USB A which is very nice. I don't know why they always tell us, oh, well, you can't fit these into thin laptops. This is a very thin laptop with two type A's on it. And of course we get USB-C. I believe that is a five gig version. So there's no Thunderbolt because uh, AMD. It does do also do display port. So you can run display port and HDMI out of this. And also of course, that's your charging, charging LED, bottom of it. We're actually gonna crank it up do a couple benchmarks. This is not a review. This is not a review. We're basically going to run a couple tests just to give you a taste for how this laptop performs. I can tell you 8-core Ryzen 7 is pretty awesome in multi-core performance. I expect the same thing. So come back in a second. Hey, so we're back. I just ran a few quick tests. Once again, this is not a review. This is not a review. This is just simply to give you a taste of what this Ryzen 7 5700U will do in this Dell Inspiron. Uh, first thing is Cinebench, Maxon Cinebench. It is, uh, this is the R20 version. It is basically a 3D modeling benchmark, very popular. Default, of course, is to run all cores, which is what you want to do if you're buying an eight core laptop like this Inspron. Performance here is, is pretty good. It's basically right there with an Asus Zenbook with a Ryzen 7. 5800U. This is a Ryzen 7 5700U. So this is uh, 330 versus 3393, slightly slower. It's 100 slower, right? And of course, the you can see the performance advantage Ryzen has in small laptops like this over Intel's best 11th gen Tiger Lake U parts. Um, it's definitely 
uh, got an advantage over those Tiger Lake U's, which only have four cores and not eight cores. But a lot of people also run single threaded performance, which sort of tells you uh, how you're going to run Office or maybe Photoshop or even some browsing. There's a lot of things that only use one or two cores, so eight cores don't really help you. So we also run Cinebench R20 using a single thread. Now we see it flipped a little bit. Intel's very best 11th gen Core i7, 1185 and 1180, 1195 G7. It's actually a little bit faster than the uh, best Ryzen's. And we also see uh, more of a gap open up. That Ryzen 750 800U has a, a nice little advantage over the Ryzen 750 700U in this Inspiron. But, you know, it's not a huge difference, but definitely Intel has a, a nice lead here. Uh, we also do look at graphics performance. For that, we use 3D Mark Time Spy. I'm only showing the GPU performance. It basically ignores how fast the CPU is, so it's really a gauge of just the graphics. Uh, Intel has been doing really well here, and they still do. The uh, Iris XC is no joke. The uh, G7 graphics in its small laptop CPU are generally better than, than Radeon is what I'm seeing. And you see that here again, Ryzen 7 5700U, not bad. A little bit slower than a 5800U, but uh, G7 in the Iris uh, XC is definitely ahead of the curve here. One thing I didn't mention earlier is the battery in this. It's about 54 watt hours. Dell claims that'll give you about 12 hours, 22 minutes, which is pretty, pretty damn good. That's longer than a day, right? Uh, in this using Mobile Mark 18, which is a little harder than the previous Mobile Mark that people used to use that would say this thing is 20 hours. So that 12 hours, 22 minutes is probably pretty accurate if you're just gonna sit there, maybe do a little bit of browsing, some, some work. Okay, let's close off by talking about configuration and pricing. Uh, price of this unit as configured is 999. I'm gonna rattle off the configuration once more. Ryzen 7 5700U, uh, Windows 10 Home, 16 gigs, I said it earlier, it was LPDDR4X. It's actually DDR4, which is lower cost, makes sense for this price point. 512 gig SSD for 999, that's a 1080p panel. Um, Wi-Fi 6, very nice. Uh, let's look at what all the options that Dell is offering. Uh, on Dell's website right now, you can also say like, you know what, I don't want AMD, I want to do Intel. You can get the same laptop with a, uh, a Tiger Lake in there as well, cost you a little bit more. Uh, a Core i7 1165G7, which is third from the top, but it's still a very good CPU. You get the really good graphics. Uh, same amount of memory, uh, actually less memory, sorry, 12 gigs, a little odd. 512 gig uh, SSD Windows 10 Home for 50 bucks more. So you wanna go with Intel name and badge, you're gonna pay a little more to get a little less. There's also two other configurations that are lower in price. Um, Ryzen 5 5500U, you cut the memory in half to eight gigs, cut the SSD down to 256 gigs for $800. Not bad, I'd say the only real limitation there is that SSD, a lot of people can get by in eight gigs, it's, it's perfectly fine for what most people do, but uh, 256 gigs if you're really a photo or a hoarder, a data hoarder, a little bit of a problem. All of them use M.2, so you could upgrade it later on, but I know most people are uh, unwilling to open up their laptops. There's also an Intel option, uh, 11th Gen Core i5, 1135G7, 850, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs. So basically, your choice there is pay 50 bucks more for Intel or do Ryzen. Um, that's a 6-core on that Ryzen 5, and that is a quad-core on that i5 as well. So I'd say... It's a little closer in performance between both of those and on that price, and also the, the RAM is the, is the same. So probably a better comparison down at that, that 5 series. At 7 series, I would probably go with the Ryzen for the RAM. 12 gigs sounds kind of weird. I, I'm not sure why it's not 16 gigs. Uh, both of them are actually excellent CPUs. Tiger Lake, I would say, is probably better for... Uh, bursty performance, if you can do a lot of browsing, a lot of Word, a lot of Photoshop, you generally are going to do a little bit better, a little snappier 
with that Intel part for the Ryzen. Still very good though, um, but a little less snappy. And also, of course, uh, when you're running on battery, generally uh, AMD tends to run things very conservatively and give you better battery life, a little less performance snap. But pretty nice laptops. Again, all metal construction. Dell Inspiron 14 7000. Two in one. Uh, Intel or AMD, pick your poison. This one's pretty nice though.